Hey there. It's Monday night. What's going on? It's, it's brisk outside probably where you are. So let's think about hockey. Hockey's a great sport. Hockey's a sport I played just yesterday, and I have sore ankles from skating. Uh, anyway, uh, somebody asked me about hockey because I didn't do a hockey video today, and I was like, yeah, nobody's paying me as a subscription for hockey, so I decided just not to do a video, and then... God damn it, you know, when I'm, I'm like, wait a minute, how, how long is it for me to do? I'm like, it's like five minutes for me to do hockey. Uh, yes, I can do hockey, but but I don't want to do hockey and do it like this every day. I want people to just go somewhere and look at the picks. So we solved that problem. Welcome to the Google Sheet for NHL. Um, it's not as pretty as the algorithm in Excel. It's not as pretty as this, but it and it's not as dynamic. We're missing a lot of stuff, but it does give you the games. So let's see if we can use it and go over what the games are. Well, four games, one of them already started, Seattle and Buffalo. Thinks there's going to be a good amount of goals, like Seattle is the number one pick Kraken. What? The, all right, the Google Sheet algorithm is smoking Kraken and says that the Kraken are the number one pick. Dredger's plan, I mean, I don't know. Um, Buffalo is just not good. <laughs> is the problem. So what does that look like overall here? Once go 125. Mm-hmm. It's a good look. So Seattle won about half of their games the last couple weeks. Mm, Buffalo just, just only wins like one out of four. And so Seattle could play better it's in Buffalo, but I'm astonished that that's the number one pick of the day. That That's amazing to me. Um, I know off the wall hockey guy chose the over in this game. I played the over in this game as well. I just couldn't bring myself to, to take Seattle at minus 140 against anybody. Um, so whatever. We'll see what happens. Vancouver and Montreal. We need to freeze panes here. Let's do view freeze up to row. Oh, yeah. This is, this is what's annoying about this. You do want to do up to row three. Freeze up to row three. That works now. Um, Vancouver and Montreal. Vancouver and... Mo oh, oh, won't go down. Vancouver and Montreal <clears throat> under. I took the under in this game. Um, well, I mean, it's flipped around because Montreal's playing a little better than Vancouver over the last couple weeks. So it flips the score from a, a little bit favoring Vancouver to a little bit favoring Montreal. Likes a 2-2 or 1-1 game, honestly. Um, and that Montreal wins. But third pick of the day, okay? So I took the under here. Arizona and Winnipeg. I took Arizona because the algorithm said, not just me being crazy. I saw the 270 and was like, yeah, I got to play that. I took that at about like 260 or something because I saw this. And even though the score says they don't win 3-2... This says they do because they're playing better than something's wrong with Winnipeg. So it might be one of those like like two to one games that Arizona wins. Or if they have one of these big scoring games, Vimilka does Vimilka have a win yet? I can check that in the algorithm. Let's look. Oh, well, it's Winnipeg. Arizona Vimelka is one and nine. So he does have a win in an overtime loss. He's already got one win. I mean, it's interesting to me. I mean, it's just weird how how this changes this because I guess the power for – why is it doing this? This is a huge difference because Arizona is playing so much better in the last two weeks compared to the last month and the whole season, and Winnipeg is playing so much worse that it flips it flips this even though the score does not track with it. So – it just says that like Arizona plus one and a half is a great play because if they do lose, they lose by this score three two, and if they accidentally win, they win like two one or three two themselves or six five, six five or something. I don't even know. It's weird. Um, Pittsburgh and Calgary. It thinks good goaltending matchup here rating wise. Sees super powerful team in Calgary thinks they win three two and it's but it's got one of the lower margins. It's got the lowest margin of the game. And this is the game that I took. I took Calgary to win because I thought that's a stronger pick than Seattle. I'm wrong. I flipped it. And Seattle will probably win. And Calgary will freaking get upset by Pittsburgh. Talking my bet down here. 
anyway, so this is a link. Um, I'm going to have it um, live, and then I'll just add games below every day. And we can just scroll down and keep results, and I'll write some formulas or whatever. So this will be a nice thing to keep track. And, um, yeah, all right. And I'll be accepting, actually right now here, I, I accept compensation <laughs> for work. Will 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 program for money? <laughs> no, no, no. You know what I mean. I'll, I'll accept stuff if you want to um, get me to pay attention to this a little bit more and update goalies and even write a little formula in here where we have drop down arrows for the goaltenders, and then that way, if there's a goaltending change late, it'll actually change the percentages and call the correct goalie percentage and change the scores and do the whole thing. I could actually do that, but that that's complicated. That's more. I don't want to to do that. I just, want to, I just want to paste the export and be done with it. All right. So good luck, everyone. There's your hockey video for the day. And may all your picks be winning. And my picks are over five and a half, under five and a half, Arizona to win. Say it is. No, the, the algorithm says that they win here. It's the second pick of the day. Uh, and then Calgary to win as the fourth pick of the day. All right. All right. Good luck, everybody. May all your picks be winning.